Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Town Watch. My name is Josh Town. Thank you for stopping by today. In this video, we have a good old-fashioned unboxing of a Seiko. It's been a little while since I've unboxed a Seiko on the channel, so we're just going to jump right into it and see what we got. The packaging came a little beat up. I uh, ordered this watch on Amazon, and it might have shipped from Japan. Um, but thankfully the watch is okay. I have already checked on it. It is a Seiko 5, as you can see. And which one is it? All right, let's see if I can open this box. Here we go. It's one of those fairly new field watches in the Seiko 5 line. So, got the blue dial version on the bracelet right here. You can see the reference number SRPG. 2.9 suggested retail 275 caliber 4R36. Uh, I believe I paid less than 275 on Amazon. I forget exactly what I paid, but this is what we're going to look at real quick. Share my first impressions on this watch here in this video, but please do stay tuned for a full review where we'll go over all the details of this piece from Seiko. So let's take off all the plastic here, get rid of that, and then we'll go from there. All right, I think I got all the plastic off of this watch. And my first impressions are is that this is a good looking, budget friendly field watch from Seiko. Uh, you know, it's some of the typical stuff from Seiko is here, you know, press class, the bracelet is nothing to write home about. You get those hollow end links, as you can see. Um, but nice open case back. You can see the 4R36 movement working there. 100 meters of water resistance. Um, you do get um, drilled lugs, which is nice. And uh, I like the looks of this watch. Uh, that's my first impressions. I like that blue sunburst dial. There's even some gradientness uh, to it. <laughs> gradientness. I don't know if that's a word. Uh, but you can see there are some darker portions of blue in certain parts. And actually, it might change as you turn the watch. Um, but I really like this dial. It looks good. And I am a fan of that Seiko 5 logo. That uh, It's like a 5. It's like an S. People argue about that. But I think it looks pretty cool. Um, hands are nice and large and legible. That second hand is reaching almost out to the edge of the the tick marks on the chapter ring so that's nice to see the date window is very legible has a black background with white printing and it's boxed out with some white printing as well and then the the numeral indices that you see here are actually applied they're they're not too too much raised off the dial but you can see that they are raised up slightly and so you get some depth there with those. They're not just printed on, but they look like just stainless steel indices. And unfortunately, it looks like there's no loom on those numerals. I would have liked to see those loomed as well. We'll get a loom shot here in a moment, but let's get some measurements here on this piece. See what we're dealing with as far as the dimensions go. 39.5 millimeter case diameter, case thickness is 13.3 millimeters lug tip to lug tip distance coming in at 48 millimeters and we get a lug opening measurement of 20 millimeters right there so yeah I, you know i'm not sure about the crystal on this watch so i'm gonna break out my diamond selector here and uh, see if we can't figure out if this crystal is Sapphire or not, I forget. All right, the diamond selector is hot and ready. We'll test out this crystal. And you can see there's no movement. So the diamond selector says, no, that is not sapphire crystal. It's just a mineral hard lex crystal from Seiko. Uh, it is what it is. We'd always prefer sapphire, but uh, Seiko rarely does that on watches at this price point, unfortunately. So, um, if you're interested in a video that I did, I actually tested out Seiko's Hardlex against a Citizen Hardlex crystal. Uh, check out that video, it's pretty cool. 
uh, to see you know when they exactly scratch at what point so check that video out um, I'm gonna slap this watch on my wrist so you can get a quick idea of what it looks like on my six and a half inch wrist so I haven't sized the bracelet yet and there's plenty of room for larger wrists as you can see but that's a general idea of what it looks like on my six and a half inch wrist I think it fits pretty good the uh, lug to lug distance is under 50 millimeters so there it is I'm gonna charge it up and get a loom shot all right here's a quick loom shot charge it up just briefly and it's a healthy application of Seiko's loom so nice application on the hands and those pips on the chapter ring are glowing surprisingly well so good to see um, but I would have preferred to see the indexes those numeral indexes loomed as well that would have been great all right guys so those are my first impressions about this Seiko 5 field watch this blue dial version on the bracelet there are many other variations you can check out the links down in the description if you're interested in this watch one of the reasons that I bought this watch was to do a full review on it but also to compare it to the new Timex field watch that just came out I did an unboxing of this just recently so I think this is going to be a great head-to-head -head battle this one being a mechanical the Timex and the Seiko being an automatic uh, I think it's going to be a great battle so you're going to want to stay tuned for that future video first of all we'll do the full review of the Timex then we'll do the full review of the Seiko and then they'll go head-to-head -head in that comparison so do stay tuned for that if you liked this video today, please let us know. That's not going to stay up there. Please let us know by hitting that like button. It really helps out. Appreciate that very much. But that's it for today here on the Town Watch. We'll see you next time.